All right, here we are today back at the HVAC game. We're doing some spring cleaning, if that's what you want to call it. There's a lot of wind. I hope you can hear me. When we are cleaning condenser coils, there's usually four steps that I do. The first is brush cleaning. The second is washing down the coil. The third is chemical. And then number four is rinsing. Brush cleaning. Before you start all of that though, you go over here. Always make sure your equipment is off. Now your power is off. And you see all of this crap down here. Like if you just make the coil wet, you basically push all of this dirt more in. It's very easy to take one of these brushes. See, it's very fast. It should take like, you know, not that much. Just go through like this. Okay. All right, so this is how it looks like after our brush cleaning, which is, I mean, night and day, you can see the difference. Number two is something that not a lot of people do, but I found it helps with coil cleaning, especially when you're doing coil cleaning quite often, you see the difference that it makes. The rinsing step is literally, you do like this, and you just rinse the coil with water. What that does, as you can see down there, it removes any loose debris and helps wash down the coil. So first of all, you're removing dirt that the chemical then doesn't have to remove. And second of all, you're making the coil wet, which allows the coil cleaner to get into the coil and do its work much easier. I've just found doing that helps with cleaning the coil, gives you a better result. And as many of you know, I come from facility services. I was a building engineer and a lot of what I did is coil cleaning. So I just found that building that second step helps a lot with the cleaning. And this, look, this is just cleaning with water. This is all of the dirt we're getting out. And this is everything that our coil cleaner does not have to remove because we already prepared the coil. One note on that is also you want to go against the airflow. This coil is very thin, as you can see. So we're pushing it all the way through. It's only two rows. It's very easy to get through. But when I am spraying the coil cleaner, I'm going to go this way against the flow. If we had like a four or five row coil, I would definitely go the other way. So here we are going into step number three, which is coil cleaning. I have my coil cleaner over here attached to my garden hose. And you can literally just go in there and spray it through. Just go top down. That's a lot of coil cleaner. And what I sometimes like to do is just go both ways. You can see it coming out here. Always watch the wind and wear safety glasses because you don't want that stuff to get into your eyes or anything. Okay, now we'll let it sit for a little bit. Always look at your coil cleaner, look at the guidelines. Sometimes it says how long it's supposed to be on there. This one is specifically formulated to be a non-rinse. I honestly, I'm just trying this, but here you see all of the directions. Yeah, so since no rinsing is required, you do not have a time that you're supposed to leave it on there. I know in your blue coil cleaner, you do have instructions. Remain in contact with the dirty surface for five to 10 minutes. So just read your instructions, read your mixing ratio, and especially on roofs like this, make sure that you're also washing the roof after you apply this. Okay, let's get into step number four, rinsing the coil. I'm gonna go against the flow of air in the other direction. So I'm just gonna try and get this here, spray it down. I usually go top down. and rinse off the coil. I'll do it both ways on this specifically, but I start inside out and then I go outside in. One tip is on condenser coils that have only one fan on the top, it's usually easiest to remove the fan and just spray inside out. And you can also do that on rooftop units as you see fit. And always be aware of your fins. When you're doing that, you don't wanna bend fins and restrict airflow which has happened to me quite frequently in the past. <laughs> it's a big mess to 
straighten them out again. I'm gonna finish this. And this is how your coil should look like when you're done. It's all clean, beautiful, and you can get airflow. And if you wanna learn more about this technique, about the procedure, you know, like maintenance, troubleshooting, electrical wiring diagrams, if you wanna connect with other growth-minded technicians that are all collaborating and helping each other out, check out the HVAC Game School community, follow the link. I hope you got a lot out of this. Happy HVAC Game.